Okay, so in this problem, we know that the average time, or the mean, u, for a group of 67 students to finish a race was 104.3 seconds. And then the next year took each student, so each student took 7 seconds longer to finish. Overall, how much longer will the average be? So this is a pretty fundamental mean or average question. I'm going to use a picture to think about it, and then I'll use an equation. So we don't, we don't know the exact time for, for every student, but we know the average. So let's say there's a bunch of students with a bunch of different times, and then you know the average for those students is somewhere over here, right? This line represents the average, that on average these students took about 67 seconds to complete the race. Well, the next year, imagine that we add 7 seconds to every student. All of these points, all their individual times then, will be 7 seconds longer. So then, just from that picture, I can see that the new average, right, will just be at a new, I guess, equilibrium with those new points. It'll rise with each of them. Since they're all rising the same amount, our overall mean will also shift up by that much. So here, if everyone went up 7 seconds, well, then the whole mean, too, will go up 7 seconds, right, to 111.3 seconds. And if that doesn't convince us, let's look at a, a simple example, and then we'll kind of explain it's happening algebraically. Let's say we're adding 1, 2, 3 numbers, and we know that we, we divide them by 3, we get some mean, mu. Well, if I add 7 seconds to each of these, well, let's, let's make it easier, let's add 9 seconds to each of these, what I get is the first number, plus 9, then the second number, and 9, and the third number, and 9, all over 3. Well, let's use the associative property to regroup the numerator as the sum of the original three times or whatever plus nine plus nine plus nine all over three so in this case notice that when we we can split up these, these expressions into two fractions so it says x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus 27 over three right and keep this over three all I did here was split these two up I get 9 plus this. And without the details, this was my original mean. Now the new mean, I added 9 to every every time. Well, now it's the original plus 9. So you can see that in this case, by adding 9 seconds to each, to each individual number, overall I've added 9 seconds to the original mean. And why does this make sense? So in this case, we're adding 67 times, right, different times for different students. And to each of those, we're going to add 7 seconds. So now it's going to be x1, so it's the original mean, plus 7, plus x2, plus 7, and so forth, all the way up to x, the 67th student, and 7 seconds all that divided by 67. When we regroup this, we're going to get, again, the original mean over 67 plus, plus, well, we're still over 67, plus 67 sevens. All right, so, so here you see that the number of, or the amount that we're adding to each number will be added the amount of times that we have numbers to add it to. In other words, the number of terms, right? This will always match this. So let's say we have m terms, or well, we're adding m sevens to m terms. We're adding the same amount of sevens to to we're adding the same amount of sevens that there are terms in the whole expression. So in other words, what will be always be left over, these will cancel out is the number you're adding, which means that in this case, we have our original mean plus 7. Or, if we did this really general case, right, 
we have x to the n terms. Well, if we were to add to each of these, that means we're adding n, if we're adding m to all of these, we're adding n times m altogether, and it's over n terms. So really, if we're adding m to everything, to each of the n terms, we're just adding m to the overall mean. And that's a pretty general way of saying what's going to happen here. If you add the same amount to every term, you will raise the mean by that amount, or subtract. All right, hope that helps.